Hello, Transitional Kindergarten families. It's Mrs. Jarreau with Teacher Tip Tuesday. I wanted to show you these great chip clips I got at the dollar store. You can go to the dollar store. They come in little packs of three. There's a frog, a bee, and a ladybug. And I got five of them so then I could do the chip clip poems with five speckle frogs. Do you remember the little five speckle frog poem we learned? Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were how many speckled frogs? And they have to count one, two, three, four, four speckled frogs. And you might want to make little post-it notes um, and then they can rip them off and find the number four and show you four and then you can sing four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs yum yum one jumped into the pool and they can take it off and then count so that's with the five speckled frogs then of course we have a poem with five ladybugs you can make a nice leaf out of construction paper and put all your ladybugs on it. And I'm going to attach to the email I send you, I'm gonna give you chip, kit, chip clip poems that you can use. I have, they also have these great ducky clips that you can use at the dollar store. So I got some of these and there's a chip clip poem with ducks that you can go over. It's good for one-to-one -one correspondence. Um, honestly, it's good for their fine motor skills to clip these onto things, just like a clothespin, opening and closing them. So just that simple fact is gonna strengthen their fine motor skills. Again, at the dollar store, my favorite place. Love that place. It's Halloween time, right? And I found this ice tray, it's really cool. This little ice tray with pumpkins. You can actually make ice or if you want, but, but you know what, I thought this was a perfect tens frame. You know how we've been using tens frame in our class? And so I found these little eyeballs um, and little bags of 18. And so I thought, oh, this is fun. We can count. You can say, all right, can you show me five eyeballs? And they'll have to grab the eyeballs from their little bag and make and show you five. You can um, have the numbers out for again, like on post-it notes, show me five. And they'll have to show you one, two, three, four, five. You know, here's a post, show me three. They can take out two eyeballs, take away, and show you what three, build three looks like. Um, so that was kind of fun. Again, for the fine motor skills, putting them um, in the right spots where they need to go. I also found, using the tens frame, these great little erasers. They're really mini tiny erasers. And for my more advanced students, you can make combinations. Okay. Let's make the number five. Show me a different combination, you know. They showed you five eyeballs. Is there a different way we can make it? Well, maybe can we, we can put two of the little green bats and then we can take three, one, two, three of the scarecrows, that we have these little orange scarecrows, and three plus two is five. That's one combination they can show me. Or maybe they wanna show me um, they, they want to do four. You can show me four of the little orange scarecrows and one purple bat. Four plus one is five. You can do it up to 10. Show me different combinations of 10 and they can do it. So again, the little erasers come in packs of 18 too. And they have three different colors and different, uh, different, uh, fun Halloween themes. You can use candy corn and have them show you different numbers and different combinations to 10. Again, that one-to-one -one correspondence though, it's perfect. It's also perfect for the fine motor skills. Another find that I found at the dollar store is this fun pipe cleaner. And you can put little knots at the end of the pipe cleaner. Why I like these is because I also found these beads, these wooden beads. Um, I know one of our students made a beautiful wind chime with the wooden beads, um, but you can um, make a tens, tens chain here. 
And you can count out that one-to-one -one correspondence. One, two, using the spine motor scales. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, show me six. And they have to show you six. What does six look like? For your um, more advanced kids, you might want to do some color coding. You know, do combinations. What are six beads? Maybe you're going to do three yellow beads, three red beads. So you can do different combinations, but that's really kind of a fun, um, it's good for their fine motor skills. It's good for um, them showing you if you want to do like little beginning addition problems. Maybe they want to show you the number 10. What is 10? Four plus six beads equals 10. Different combinations. Um, it's really uh, not abstract. So the kids can see it with their eyes, making those combinations. Sometimes numbers are a little bit abstract for the children. And so it's nice to have something tactile to work with for them um, to make it more concrete in their mind. So again, Dollar Tree found all those things, found the chip clips, the um, fun little pumpkin tens frame, um, the beads. I also found rewards charts. A lot of times you, um, like your student, your child needs that reward. So there's a little good job chart, good work, and there's all these little stickers. And after they do something, maybe you're done with your math activity, you know what, you did such a great job, let's grab a sticker and put it on your good work chart. And when they fill this chart up, you can do something special. Maybe they get to go to the Dollar Tree and pick out something special. Maybe they get their favorite snack. Um, maybe they get a Frosty Cone at McDonald's. Whatever it is, maybe they get to stay up 10 minutes later or they get to play Minecraft for 10 minutes longer or whatever your reward at your house is. You get to wear pajamas all day today. I don't know. So these little reward charts are fantastic though. Um, you could do, because I just think it's fun right now with these uh, little eyeballs and it's Halloween, you could do a glass jar and you could, every time you catch them doing something good, they could fill up the jar with eyeballs and then when you fill the jar to the top with your eyeballs, then you get maybe a treat or a reward. And this also works good with if they are not behaving. Oh, we have to take an eyeball out of the jar or we have to take a pom-pom ball out of that jar, you know, and then they could earn it back. Oh my gosh, you did so great. Let's put it back in. Now we've earned it back. So the incentive charts are great for kids or incentive jars. It's a visual that they can see are great with children. Lots of fun things I found at the dollar store. <clears throat> I found foam letter stickers. And so I was gonna show you some things to do with those, but that'll be um, for another video. All right, have fun on Teacher Tip Tuesday. Thank you, bye-bye.